Welcome to another episode of Awesome Action Toys. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Corpse Laurel by Acid Rain. And this is a, a mech that's been rusty. It comes with um, oh, the mech itself and a pilot. Now let's open this up, open up this bad boy and have a look. Now I've not opened mine yet because I've been busy with work, but you get to enjoy the excitement of me seeing what's inside this uh, box that's come. So let's have a look. Ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. Careful not to cut the insides. Okay, so we've got the standard acid rain box and sleeve inside the packing box. Nice artwork on the front. It shows the it shows one, two, at least three, maybe four or five corpse laurels there, and a pilot we can see there. On the back, the usual go feel, and you can feel the texture, the weathering there, that's nice. Let's open up. Underneath the sleeve we have the standard box and we have the wake up my friend which we see on the rust stuff. So exciting. Okay, let's get this. Whoa. And what's this here? Ah. So here it's nice. We have, is this one side? Yeah. We have a mini poster of the artwork we saw on the front. That's great. Let's open up and inside we have, let's look at our pilot first. We have the zombie head pilot. So you can have one that's dead. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Um, oh, is he, is he being shot through the eye? He's got a red eye there and a red face. Okay, so this is a zombie pilot. Let's have a look at his face. Mine comes with a red eye and a red cheek. Like a soul commander, different colouring. Uh, I do like that face. Um, you can see the nose is like... And this will focus so close. But you can see that the nose has started to recede inside this his face, where it's decaying uh, we get a Solcom rifle we get a a gas mask head which is not injured so you can make it as a trooper if you want and we get a undamaged helmet though it is weathered so this head can't really like well, cam it's not great take the helmet it's too high up in this head but the Gas mask one obviously can because it's made for that helmet or vice versa how it's made for this head. So you can put that on there. The nice thing with the helmet side, you can see his eyes. We can put the helmet down that way and it covers his eyes with the visor there, which is quite a nice feature. And the standard Soul Commander rifle, two tone, drilled hole in the barrel. Very nice. You can see my Soul Commander review. In my other videos, uh, do watch out for the deserter review because that's one of the rarest and most sought after figures from the acid rain line. Okay, let's have a look at the actual mech. Okay, this is the first mech they've released with the machine gun arm, and the back is different too. I see, this is really quite nice. I do like this. Okay, so. Uh, it's got the damaged cockpit there, you can see where it's been blasted, that's why there's a zombie inside, he's dead. This does, oh, this is a bit stiff, it's been painted shut. It does open, he says. Okay, that side's loose. There we go. And that's it. But what's interesting is, on the other laurels, there is a, okay, you can see it there. Maybe that comes off somehow. I think, okay, I see. So, the back is different to your standard laurels. On the standard laurel, when you open the front here, a part shoots out in the back. It still does on this one, but it's hidden underneath these two flaps. So if I push this in, that moves out. I take it down, that moves out. Okay, so they've got this extra bulky part on the back, which makes it look far more robust, far more military. That's quite interesting. Um, I think that might actually come off. I'm having a quick 
wobble. I don't actually snap anything or break it. Uh, I can't see any screws that will keep that in place. I think it's just a snap on, but I don't want to snap it off just, just yet. Okay. Very nice. Okay, if I look inside, and yes, I can see. If you look inside here, difficult to see maybe, there is a clipboard which you can take out with pliers or a screwdriver. Be careful because they're easy to lose. That's a standard feature on most the laurels. I think the ghost laurel doesn't have one, I'm not sure, can't remember. Uh, I haven't reviewed the ghost laurel, I will do that in a future episode. Okay, so the laurels are renowned for a fantastic articulation in the shoulders and his little stubby legs. Uh, stubby legs, as long as the joints are tight, are fine because the top is quite heavy. If the joints aren't tight, it will just move out. They have also this little step thing that comes down. That's if you want to pose it in certain positions with the legs forwards, you can have like a little sit down almost. Ah, rest his tired self after a long day of mecking. Okay, uh, ankle articulation is great in the toes. Do go up and down as well, which is fantastic. There is a, dub, a uh, single knee on this. Don't need a double knee for these little legs. Turns on the waist, as you'd expect. It's got double elbow joints. Really, really nice. Look how tight that is. That's like phenomenally tight on the arm there rubbery hands to hold weapons he only comes with his machine machine gun arms sorry shoulders go up nicely and nice sort of ratchet clips which is good um the machine gun arm i believe yes that you can take the ammunition out now from looking at this i think this might be the same clip ammo clip as you've got in the speeder mark ii you see the Speeder Mark II, which is a phenomenal transforming mech, so a car to mech, in one of my other videos. So I believe that's the same there. That clips on like thus. Uh, the machine gun arm, very nice. I do like that machine gun. That does look good. So you can see there, cooling vents, ammo goes there, which we can take off. We saw, get lots of different sort of gangsters. Oh, yeah, you want some of me? Uh, poses with the arm. Not too long that when he stands up, it drags on the ground. It's very, very nice. And some people have already started painting and customizing this. This is a little loose. There we go. It does come off quite easily. So that's easy for customizations, which is nice and swapping around with other ones. Uh, it wasn't loose, just that it came off easily. It slots in through these slots here. And there's a couple of holes inside these little slots here where the little pegs here rest into. So that's actually quite nice, that is easy to take that off. If I try and put that on, just to make sure it wasn't a fluke, there we go. And again, that's in nice and easy, and actually is actually quite tight, but still easy to take off. I actually refer it like that, so I can customise other stuff if I want. Um, very nice, this will be very sought after in the weeks and months to come. They always are. Uh, so I do recommend you getting one as soon as you can. The Marine Laurel sold out and the price has shot up because they are really quite rare now. This one's about 99 US, I think. It's about 100 US. It's a lovely toy. Now the Pilot does fit inside. I'm not gonna put them inside now because there's a bit of a mission to do that. And there are inside here, which you can see, handles. These handles do fold in and out the way and they fold out. Again, so you can see the handles here. You can push it in and pull it out. Inside, still the same as the other laurels. See, nice details, not really painted much inside, but the weathering on the outside is really nice. There's a really nice rust look where it's been, you know, it's been blown up in combat, shot through the, the, the vise of the guys now ugh, dead and got this, this decaying zombie looking head on him because he got shot into the head, bang. This is a really nice mech. In fact, as far as the laurels go, I think this one's my favorite because the machine gun arm, and I quite like this big section on the back, and I quite like the damage visor section there as well. There we go, so that's it closed there. This is a lovely looking uh, toy. Okay, interesting. So he has a clip on the side here see that there 
Uh, there are pictures from previous prototypes they've clipped like uh, rockets or uh, yeah like rockets on the side here as well nothing comes to clip on that the machine gun which does come off he says doesn't clip on anywhere else that I can see you can't do spare ammo there can you not that I can see you could put it inside here I guess maybe if you wanted to um, this part probably does come off but I'm not sure how yet upward slides no, downward slides no, outwards no I say probably don't try and break it and blame me because I haven't figured it out if it does yet but this is really really nice looking it's got the normal holes you have here and here here and here for attaching your shoulder mounted cannons your ammo pack and so forth which is nice this is a lovely looking toy it has to be said I do like this okay interestingly there's a little uh, cog that turns here that is not really affected by this so that's just a nice another aesthetic, aesthetic they put on there great toy great mech really nice for your collection whether you like um, acid rain or not if you're a GI Joe fan this would be fantastic for your, your GI Joes your zombie, vi zombie vipers for etc etc would look great in one of these or around one of these where it's obviously been damaged in a fight with your Joes or so forth I'm actually very happy that that machine gun arm comes out so easily making it far better and easier for customizing if you want to customize your Laurel Max. Hey Bob I'm over here hi okay so me put his um, pilot standing over here put his uh, ammo thing back in the only thing with the ammo is because it's on the inside certain postures it will get in the way I would prefer on the outside personally and you can't swap it because of the elbow piece on the gun but that's just me being picky perhaps uh, lovely looking mech this is what you get you get the mech the figure you get the uh, helmet the regular gas mask head the soy rifle gun and you get the artwork awesome artwork inside okay this is awesome action toys signing out please like subscribe if you want you can share uh, stay tuned more reviews coming in the future I'm hiding behind my my uh, corpse laurel here um, do stay tuned more things are coming more exciting things coming uh, this year and a lot more next year stay happy keep collecting and stay tuned signing out bye bye